Have you ever thought about how freaking weird your teeth are? Most of your bones are supposed to stay inside your corporeal flesh suit, but your teeth are just this weird little collection of special bones that just jut out of your face and let you chew on stuff. And while, yes, their basic function is to aid you in eating things, there have also been studies that show how important your teeth are for making a good first impression. Some people might look down on folks with less than perfect teeth. And this is something that my parents were pretty concerned about when I was a kid. Because my teeth were really messed up. Some people, like my brother, are born with perfect teeth. They might need braces for a year or two, but after that, their pearly whites are all fine and dandy. And some people, like me, are not so lucky. Sometimes you have to go through some pretty painful things to get the straight, white, shiny teeth that people aspire to. Sometimes it involves getting screws drilled into your face. Sometimes it involves all of your teeth falling out in the middle of a math test. And sometimes it leaves you with lasting trauma. But hey, at least your teeth look nice and you can make a YouTube video about it, right? I mentioned in a previous video that I had some crazy stories related to my teeth. And yeah, here's the nightmare teeth saga I promised. Don't say I never did anything for you. Also, in case it wasn't obvious from the title, some of the stuff in this video is gonna get kinda gnarly. I won't show any actual photos because I don't have any, but I might include a few diagrams to help illustrate the point. If you're gonna get freaked out for me talking about what some would call medieval dental torture, you might wanna turn back now. Here's a more pleasant video for you to go watch instead. <laughs> Before we get into it though, it's time for Hey Star, what you drawing? <laughs> the art I'm working on in the background is the stickers and print for my March 2023 Mail Club set. I do a print and stickers for my Patreon supporters each month featuring the characters from my webcomic cast off. This month I did Ariana's tarot card, the last one for the main cast, as well as stickers of her and Marina in their new outfits they got for chapter 11. If you want to snag this month's goodies, the link to my Patreon is down in the description. Joining it will mean that you're supporting my works and you'll get some cool bonuses like your name in the credits of my YouTube videos and some other cool stuff. So go check out my Patreon page for all the details. Link is down in the description. Anyway, let's dig into it. The prologue of my dental health journey starts in early elementary school. And while I don't remember it too well, my parents told me stories about this incident when I got older. At some point, I went to the dentist to get x-rays for the first time, and what they saw was pretty concerning. Usually, when you see an x-ray of your teeth, you can actually, you know, see your teeth. But when my x-rays came back, my row of adult teeth under my gums was just black. Just this mass of black, like ink had been spilled on the picture. And nobody knew what to do about that. The dentist had no idea what the heck was going on up there, and my parents even mentioned they were scared it might be cancer or something equally as horrifying. So they put me under for my first surgery so they could go in and figure out what was happening. Turns out it was just a bunch of, like, scar tissue or something that was blocking the x-rays, which... weird. But okay. The next few years were relatively uneventful, except at one point I was playing on a trampoline with the neighbor kids and got kicked in the face and chipped one of my bottom teeth. But it wasn't bad enough to justify getting it fixed, and you can't really tell unless you look closely, so now one of my bottom teeth is just a little shorter than the rest. In sixth grade, it became pretty obvious to my dentist that my teeth were really wacky and I was going to need braces. So I went and I got braces. The braces made me look doofy as heck, and they cut off the inside of my mouth all the time, and I had the brackets fall off several times when I wasn't being careful about what I ate. You know, typical teen stuff, right? These braces would stay on for five years. Between that and finally getting glasses that were always a little crooked because one of my ears is slightly higher than the other, my middle school look was, uh, not the best. <laughs> Not long after I got my braces, I had to get another surgery. My orthodontist discovered that one of my permanent teeth was lodged in my jawbone and wasn't able to grow in on its own. Turns out, this was a result of that first exploratory surgery they did back when I was a kid. All the scar tissue from that first surgery blocked up the permanent tooth and made it impossible for it to grow in by itself. And I didn't even know that until I talked to my mom when writing this video. So what did they do about it? 
Well, partner, turns out they just tied it to a tractor trailer and hit the gas. <laughs> or the dentist version of that anyway. They went in and surgically attached a very, very thin gold chain to the embedded tooth and linked the other end to the wire on my braces. Every few weeks when I went to get my braces tightened, they'd shorten the chain by one link to gradually drag it down over the course of a couple months. It worked, so I can't really complain, but I've never heard of anyone else having that done. Then again, that sentence is going to be true for 90% of the stuff in this video, so whatever. My favorite part of this chain incident is the fact that, one way or the other, one of the links of the chain ended up getting loose from the rest and got stuck up in my gums and never came out. So now, when I get dental x-rays, there's just a little gold chain link visible in my upper jaw. And now, every time I see a new tech at the dentist and they take x-rays, they're like, Uh, did you know you have a thing in there? And I just say, huh, yeah, that's my emergency gold uh, stash. Gold's so expensive that I stashed a little bit of it up there, so if I ever get super strapped for cash, I can just dig it out and sell it. They never think it's funny, but one of these days it's gonna land. I can feel it. But now it's time to get to the fun stuff. And by the fun stuff, I mean the what the hell was that about section. <laughs> So there's part of this story that I just have to label with a bunch of big question marks because I legitimately do not remember the purpose of this next bit. But at some point, my orthodontist had to drill a screw into my upper jaw to fix something. It wasn't even a surgery. I was fully conscious. He basically numbed that part of my face, walked to my chair with a, I'm not joking here, literal Home Depot toolbox, took out a screwdriver and said, you're gonna feel some pressure and just screwed that sucker in there. The screw had a chain or a wire or something attached to one of my teeth and it was in there for about a year before they took it out. Anyway, if I had to guess, I think they were trying to fix my overbite or something. They tried to giving me those rubber bands between your top and bottom teeth that some kids get, and when that didn't work, they said, well, time to do some funky little medieval torture on your mouth. Ugh. I also ended up Googling, hey, why the hell did I have a screw put in my mouth? And the results that came back were that these screws are sometimes used to fix poor teeth position. So basically, I don't freaking know, I, but it happened. I tried asking my parents what they remembered and they were like, uh, it was like 15 years ago and we're old, so we don't know. <laughs> and I don't remember what it was for, but it definitely happened. And I can't call and ask my orthodontist about it because he retired years ago, so yeah. <laughs> the epilogue for that particular story is that I had an appointment in the morning to get that screw put in my mouth. And once the numbness wore off, I was laid up in bed just screaming for hours because the pain was too intense to do anything else. Even with painkillers, I was out of commission for the entire day, so that sucked. Now, back to more braces nonsense. Normally, once all your baby teeth fall out, your adult teeth would grow in and you'd have a set of 32 pearly white mouth bones. However, I was actually born missing three permanent teeth. Both of my lateral incisors, the teeth between your two front teeth and your canines, and a random molar on the bottom. The baby tooth for that molar is still hanging on, by the way. I was worried I'd need to get an implant, but my current dentist says he's had several patients with baby teeth last well into their 60s, so... Hold on, little buddy, I don't have to get any more surgeries as long as you just stay in the mouth, so just stay strong, little guy, I'm begging you. Anyway, while the baby molar was fine, the missing incisors were a much bigger problem because they're right in the center of my face. One option we had was to give me two implants to replace them, which I wasn't a huge fan of because it sounded painful and invasive. So the other option, and the one we went with, was to instead pull all of my teeth toward the front to close the gap where my missing incisors were, then grind down my canines and slap veneers over my front six teeth to make them look how they're supposed to. This was one of the reasons why I was in braces so long. It took a long time to close the gaps between my front teeth, and it basically changed the entire structure of my upper jaw. And one fun side effect of this was that I had vampire teeth for a couple months. 
but now my actual canines are taking the place of my missing incisors and my canines are molars in disguise. <laughs> Seriously, I have weird little bastard molar canine hybrids now. It's pretty great. So before they could put the veneers on, it was time for surgery number three. This one was actually mostly cosmetic. Once my teeth were all pulled together, my dentist pointed out that my gums covered a lot of my teeth. She's got perfectly good teeth up there. Her gum line's just really low for some reason is what she said. So I ended up getting some of my excess gum tissue surgically removed. Originally, my dentist was just gonna do it with a laser and it would have taken like 20 minutes, but I had a panic attack when she tried to stick the numbing needle in my mouth and she ended up sending me to a specialist who could put me under partial anesthesia for surgery so I wouldn't freak out. It was a pretty simple procedure, but the worst part is that the specialist they sent me to was this like, really, really handsome dude with some kind of European accent I couldn't put a finger on. And I'm pretty sure that when I was loopy during the surgery, I said something embarrassing about him being attractive. Looking back on it now, he probably couldn't understand me because he had a bunch of surgical equipment in my mouth, but I still think about that every time I drive past his office. Curse you, sexy dentist. Curse you and your attractive voice. <laughs> After the gum lift, they grinded down my vampire teeth to put porcelain veneers over them. But <laughs> here comes the most cursed part of this saga. It was going to take about a week to get the actual nice veneers of my front six teeth made. So after they took the molds of my grinded down teeth, they sculpted on some temporary veneers. They told me, these aren't as durable as your final veneers will be, and they have to last a full week. So be super gentle with them or they'll break, okay? And I was like, okay. And then that night I was eating like some lightly toasted bread or something. And the veneer for one of my front teeth snapped in half vertically and left a sharp corner that I kept cutting my tongue on. I had gone about four hours with the temporary veneers and had already broken one. And I had to keep them in for another week. This did not bode well. The rest of the temporary veneers broke down slowly but surely over the course of the next week, even when I wasn't eating anything. Once I was just in my room doing homework and I touched them with my tongue and a big chunk of one fell off. Like, come on, teeth. I know the dentist said you were fragile, but this is a little absurd. Come on, get it together. So that whole week with the temporary veneers was terrible, but the climax is something I legitimately still have nightmares about. On the day I was going to get my final veneers put on, my last class of the day was math, and I had a test that day. All I had to do was finish my math test, and then I could go to the dentist and be rid of the stupid, fragile, temporary veneers. But as I was taking the test, I adjusted my jaw at just the wrong angle, and there was suddenly a great disturbance in my mouth. All at once, all six of the temporary veneers just gave up and just shattered into pieces. I spit most of the tooth fragments into my hand, but still felt a couple of little leftover shards in my mouth. And again, this was in the middle of a math test. Everyone else was working on their equations and I was just sitting at my desk and having a crisis about the fact that I had just spit out the remains of several teeth. Like, what was I supposed to do about that? And so I just waddled awkwardly up to the teacher's desk and said, Hello, Mr. Math Teacher. I know you don't normally let kids use the restroom during a test because of cheating reasons, and I completely understand that. Um, but I would like to ask for an exception to that rule because I just had six teeth fall out of my mouth and I need to go do something about that. And <laughs> my God, the look on his face. He was so close to retirement and he could have gone his entire teaching career without that ever happening. And then I came along and had six teeth fall out in the middle of a math test. <laughs> so he let me go and rinse my mouth out and dispose of the evidence. And later my dad picked me up to take me to the dentist and I got my for real veneers put on. And they stayed on until a few years later when I was in that car accident and had to get the front two replaced. I'll need to get all six replaced eventually because they're starting to get cracked in a few places, but the suckers are like really expensive. So I'm trying to hold out as long as I can. 
And then a few years after that, I got my wisdom teeth removed. This is honestly the least exciting of the teeth stories, but one notable thing is that while I was working at, ahem, Bees Lake Phylactery, I had to go back to work before I had fully healed from the surgery and still needed ice packs for my swollen face. So I ended up just keeping the ice packs in the freezer drawer with the ice cream and other frozen stuff we had up near the bakery and then taking them out and sticking them on my face when there weren't any customers watching. I am amazed I didn't get in trouble for that, but they forced me to come to work not even 48 hours after I had face surgery, so I guess it's only fair that I get to keep my face ice packs in the freezer drawer. <laughs> oh, and one little side thing is that one shard of my wisdom teeth got left behind during the surgery, and then over the next few months, it slowly worked its way out of my jaw. I thought I was growing a second row of teeth like a shark, but it turns out it was just a little bone spur that my body just wriggled out on its own, so that was weird. The last bit of the tooth nonsense was actually pretty recent. Everything had been fine and dandy in my mouth since around 2014 or so, with the one exception that happened last year. When I got my braces taken off, my orthodontist installed a permanent retainer on my bottom teeth. It was basically a thick dental wire glued to the back of my teeth to keep them from shifting around. Well, it was working just fine for all those years, until at some point something happened and the glue came off of one of my teeth and it just made the wire jut out into my mouth. I literally couldn't close my mouth without it stabbing me in the tongue, and the wire was so thick I couldn't get it to move out of the way. I ended up calling my dentist and begging them through tears for an emergency appointment to take it out, threatening that if I had to deal with it much longer, I'd have to resort to grabbing a pair of pliers and ripping it out myself like the predator does for people's spines in the movie and I still had to wait until the next day to get it fixed. Thankfully, the permanent retainer is no more, and now I have a plastic retainer that I just wear when I'm sleeping, so as long as nothing crazy happens to my teeth from now on, we're good. Anyway, all this is to say that in the end, I do have nice looking teeth now. I even get compliments on them from time to time, so I'd say the pain was probably worth it, but like I said, I still have recurring anxiety nightmares about all my teeth falling out when I get especially stressed because that basically happened to me once. And so the sensation is very, very familiar. And I would like to apologize in advance to any future children that I may have. And I pray that they do not get my teeth genetics because yikes. And that's a wrap on the Tooth Stories video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because y'all seem to really like the stories about me being in pain, especially since my I Got Stabbed story video is now the most popular thing on my channel by a wide margin, so enjoy my pain, I guess. <laughs> Do you have any weird dental nightmare stories of your own? Feel free to drop them in the comments and let's whinge together about the horrors of going to the dentist. Wee hee. <laughs> This is currently the last of my story time videos that involve uh, physical trauma, but I still have some fun ones in the works, so I hope you subscribe and stick around for those. Once again, you can snag the art in this video by joining my Patreon during the month of March and get a bunch of other bonuses like your name in the credits like these cool folks on the left, and also get some other bonuses like getting to read cast off pages early, etc, etc. Link is down in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.